Well, I do think it should cover Northern Ireland. Yeah. I think the problem is that we have failed to make progress on the, the whole lawfare issue because we have been held up waiting for other things to happen. I made two announcements overnight. One is about trying to address the wider problem, uh, including uh, an assumption that, we will, uh, that prosecutions will not be brought, about uh, developing what derogating from the European uh, uh, Convention on Human Rights means, uh, and other things as well, which I think will close down uh, litigation, vexatious litigation, uh, we know the motivations that have driven some of the claims that have been made uh, when IHAT was up and running. I think we need to address that issue. But in doing so, we will help ourselves come up with an answer for Northern Ireland, where I fear we are in danger of repeating what happened with IHAT. So the two things I think we need to do is that wider solution for the veteran community and those still serving throughout the world. We also need to do something else too. And earlier this week, I agreed with the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland that in whatever her next steps will be in trying to resolve this issue and setting up a process and meeting her obligations in the Stormont House Agreement, that defense, our learnings from the IHAT experience plus the voices of the veteran community that this is affecting will be formally heard in that process.